Hi, it's Doug. Explosions. Now, it used to be, whenever I heard that word, I'd think of things like this, like special effects in a movie. But explosions aren't just something destructive that you see in movies or TV shows. Like, look at this. Here's a rock that has fallen on a road. Now, it's so heavy, it'd be hard for this construction crew to pick it up and carry it away. But there's something else they can do. Watch. They're using the power of an explosion to do something useful, in this case, to blast away rock. Here's another example. If you've ever driven through a tunnel, you can bet that explosions were involved in making it possible. Think about the tunnel as it was being made. In order to get all the way through a mountain, how are you going to do that? Well, here's what they do. Using the power of an explosion saves hours of time that would otherwise be spent trying to jackhammer through solid rock. Every time I drive through a tunnel, I think of the explosions that were needed. Here's another example of a useful explosion. This is a rocket called a Delta II, blasting off from NASA's launch pad in Florida. It's headed to space. You see the flames bursting out there. Without the power of an explosion, it would never be possible to travel fast enough to escape the Earth's gravity, and so to get something in orbit around the Earth in space. Or here's a familiar kind of explosion, one you've surely seen in person. Now, it may not be useful, but it's not destructive either. People make fireworks because we enjoy watching them. What makes things explode? What is it that makes explosions possible? What do you think? What is making the things explode, Kendall? Power that was used from acid. Never Maybe remember. some powers used from different acids. Z. Oh, gunpowder and fire. Oh, um, so gunpowder um, is like, so gunpowder, it's like a powder that, I don't know how you get it, but um, you light it on fire and it like reacts with the fire and it explodes. Like if you, in guns, that's why they call it gunpowder. You, in, back in the day, you put, well, there's still gunpowder in the bullets. And it makes an explosion to launch the bullet fast enough to pierce through things. Okay, so Zeke is talking about gunpowder, um, possibly being one of the things. Um, I think if we were to find out how gunpowder is made, it would be one of those powders left behind by an acid and a metal, if I had to guess. I'm not really sure, though. I would have to research how gunpowder is made. Lily, what are your thoughts? What is making these things explode? It's a chemical reaction. I know that for a fact. Yes, Lily, 100%. Whether it's acids, gunpowder, whatever it is, it is a chemical reaction that is happening that causes the explosion. Okay. DJ. Well, I know that fireworks are like, like smaller versions of rockets. And I know that rockets use rocket fuel in order to create the explosive that propel them. So rocket fuel and what's in fireworks must be like very similar just because like like rocket fuel is a liquid so they somehow made it a liquid so okay so he's talking dj's talking about rocket fuel and fireworks both being able to propel and cause explosions um yeah so he's saying they must have something in common even though rocket fuel is a liquid and the fireworks we learned um yesterday and the day before are made of a powder um uh, yeah Okay, so let's find out what Doug has to say. What I do know for sure is that Lily, what Lily said is correct. So I don't know whether it's an acid, probably just depends on what kind of explosion, gunpowder, acid, whatever is in fireworks and rocket fuel. Um, but Lily's 100% correct. It is a chemical reaction that is causing it. In order to understand what's happening in an explosion, Ideally, we'd be able to experiment with an explosion ourselves. But all of the examples we've seen use what scientists call high explosives. They involve substances like gunpowder or dynamite, which have to be handled by someone specially trained to use them safely. We won't be able to experiment with high explosives, but high explosives aren't the only thing that can create an explosion. 
there are smaller explosions that we can experiment with. And all explosions, whether they're big or small, work in similar ways. These smaller explosions were first discovered by, you can probably guess who, the alchemists. Now you might've noticed that when certain substances are placed in acid, you can often see some kind of bubbles forming. That's what the alchemists noticed too. These bubbles got some of the alchemists really curious. What are they? Are they some kind of air? And why do they form? Why do they rise up? If only there were some way to capture and study the bubbles, but this turned out to be challenging. The bubbles easily rise up and escape from whatever container you have them in. Frustrated with this, one alchemist tried to capture the bubbles from an acid reaction so that they wouldn't rise up and escape. He put some acid in a flask, and then he added some baking soda so that bubbles started to form. Then he quickly put a stopper in the top of the flask so that the bubbles couldn't escape. But then the glass shattered. Other alchemists tried this as well. Sometimes the glass flask would shatter, sometimes they wouldn't. Capturing the bubbles was frustrating. Always, whenever the flask was opened, it was as if the bubbles were trying to escape from the container. And it caused a lot of broken glass in the alchemist laboratories. One alchemist decided on a name for the bubbles. Chaos, from an ancient Greek word describing things being messy or out of order. It's tempting to think maybe he was frustrated with the shattered glass in his laboratory. Why do you think the containers were shattering like this? Ooh, so many friends want to get in on this one. Um, Riley. Maybe because like the force of the bubbles can't like the like the air pressure bubbles can't stay in the glass. So, like, okay. The, she said the force, the air bubbles, there's not enough. She said air pressure, the bubbles are adding to the pressure in there. Um, Jason. This reminds me of that thing we were talking about one time ago with the balloon hoops. Like, there was no where they would move because the balloon hoops were in the middle. And so you kept on adding until we all just fell out. Okay. Jason said it reminds him of when we were in third grade and we were studying liquids, gases, and solids. And I had you guys stand in hula hoops. And I think the pit, everybody did that no matter what class you were in. Yes, we um, so, and the more people were in there, you didn't have as much room to move around. So like Riley back. said, the pressure got to be too much. That was just felt there was nowhere for them to move around. The air bubbles that were being created, something new chemical reaction being created. Nowhere for it to go. Lily. Are you um, okay. All right. Kindle. Riley, I think she's right because whenever the bubble, the air from the bubbles, it gets stuck in the glass and whatever it's pushing, it's trying to push out. So it's pushing the glass out and and make it shatter. Right. So they don't have anywhere to go. It's pushing, it's pushing, it's pushing. It can't go up and out where the opening is supposed to be. So it pushes against the glass until the glass can't take it anymore. Burst Z. So uh, a connection I had, well, like, you know, like champagne bottles, it's like there's a lot of bubble and fizz in it. And so, like, um, when you shake it up, it, like, they usually have corks in it. it pushes the cork out. You see that a lot. But I thought the um the acid and baking soda would um push the cork out. But uh, the, the bubbles they are I think they're filled with air, hot air or something that rises like helium or something like that. And if they want to rise out and then like there's more bubbles being created and um keep coming. And when there's too much, it all gets at the top. It gets filled up everywhere. There's nowhere for them to go, so they just keep coming as pushing and pushing, and then it pushes the cork out or shatters the glass. Right. So what Zeke is saying, let me see if I can go back and present something different. Let me see if I got this straight, Zeke. Okay, hang on. Present. Stop presenting that. Instead, present Zeke. this. All right, so let me see if I can get a hold of what Zeke's saying here. Not that. Go away. All right. So Zeke is saying, okay, we've got our little glass flask here. Ooh. Right? Okay. I'll even put a brown cork in it. 
Okay. And it's got my liquid in it down here. And chemical reaction happens, right? And so there's little gas bubbles. Something new is created, right? And like Zeke said, it seems like they were trying to escape, like they're rising. So they're as they rise, they're going to like all pile up right here. And because this is a chemical reaction happening down here, there's constantly more, more, more being made. And it's getting so full and they're rising. And they're all everywhere. And... It starts filling up and eventually you can imagine, I'm not gonna keep going because it would take way too long, but this is eventually gonna get filled, but there's still more coming. There's not any room. So to make room, they're just pushing, pushing, pushing against the outsides of the container. Or it up is against going, the cork. Or, right, Zeke said the other thing is they could push, push, push against the cork. Maybe the cork pops out or maybe, like we saw in the video, the glass shatters. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stop sharing that. Back to presenting this. This bad. Yes. Grayson is like mining, but he just he wrote on a piece of paper a great idea. He said it reminds him of soda, and then I thought of carbon dioxide. Okay. Oh yeah, like when you open a soda, when you start to open a soda yeah, bottle, and you start, and the fizz wait, starts coming it, out, especially if you've shaken it up, you get it, and you make the soda kind of angry, right? And then, like, and then if you try and open the bottle, it starts it fizzing out the top of it. My mom gets mad. Okay, that. absolutely perfect example. Oh, this, wait, how about the how about this chemical reaction where like a guy like um. Like he like throws a mint into it, then he closes the bottle. Oh yeah. I've actually seen a guy like the cap for it to explode. But I just saw a guy just hold it and then there all of a sudden it just blew up the whole entire bottle just blew up in his hand. Oh, and if you like uh you don't you know, like you put mintos in it, you shake it up and then you throw it on the ground and then it'll blast off. Whee! Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? Um, guess okay, what? here we go. If you shake up a in today's activity, you're going to experiment like an alchemist, using acid to make bubbles, and then you'll try to capture those bubbles. Unlike the alchemist, though, you won't use a flask. You really don't want to be around shattering glass. But your experiment will give you clues that help you figure out why those glass flasks were shattering. In your experiment, you'll be using a more modern container, one that would have seemed like magic to an alchemist. This, a Ziploc plastic bag, it's a great container. Since it's clear like glass, you can see what's going on inside it. And it's easy to seal up tight so that the bubbles can't escape. But since it's plastic, it won't hurt you if it does explode. The acid you'll be using is vinegar. You'll be adding baking soda to make the bubbles. Now you probably already know what will happen when you mix these two things together. But what will happen if you mix them together in a closed bag? You'll be finding out. I'll show you how to get started step by step. Find a partner. When you're done with this step, click the arrow on the right. You're muted.
Get these supplies. Get these supplies. All right. Listen carefully. Here's what we're doing. And we're fine so far. Guys, this is going to take twice as long if we're talking. It's still on my desk. I'm still trying to get it to work. Guys, you don't need a Chromebook right now. Um, but what I will ask is a couple of you have your Chromebook and charger sitting out. Go ahead and sit it to the side right now because we don't want anything electronic on our table for this experiment. Now, I need... One of the people in your group um, you guys aren't listening. One of the people in your partnership. Macy, you're turning around with Kane. Scooch that way so I know where you're at. Okay. One person is going to come get a worksheet. Trying to figure out, this is a lot of stuff to grab. Um, make sure that you guys have scissors. If you don't have scissors, I have a couple. Yeah. Little scissors up here. I just lay everything out. It says you need one Dixie cup, scissors, a worksheet, a zip-up a plate, um, a cup, and a spoon for vinegar. And a zip-up. All right. Well, send one person. You're going to come up through the middle. Grab your worksheet, scissors if you need them, one Dixie cup, and a bag, and a plate. You don't need to carry your scissors up here. I did say scissors, but you might have scissors at your desk. I don't have scissors. But that's your partner. No? No, you and your partner need one of them. Each person. Yeah. Yes. Oh, each person. Okay, everybody, come grab. You can share scissors with your partner. That's fine. Oh no, each per not each person needs a plate. Each partnership needs a plate. And each table will need a cup of vinegar and a cup of vinegar. We only have two people up there. You can have No. 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 Everybody, guys, it's on the board. Everybody needs a paper and a cup and a ziplock. Everybody needs a paper and a cup and a ziplock. Each pair needs a plate and scissors. Oh, everybody needs a Dixie cup too. And then each table. I'm making a no, fucker. Keep that. I'll go. I'm getting. I need my own. Each person needs one. Okay. 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 Guys, I don't know why it's so loud. All right, does everybody? Have their own piece of paper, yep. their own Ziploc, and their own Dixie cup. Does each partnership have a plate and scissors? Now each table needs a cup of vinegar. <laughs> and I'm making your cups of baking soda. Oh, you know what? Just figured that out. Double cup of 
I'm putting it in plastic. Um, all right. How many? What do you need? Get your vinegar and go. Who else needs vinegar? Why do I have so many? Each table needs vinegar. <laughs> Can't get that one Guys, look at your table. We should have every table with a vinegar cup now because I made six of them. Zeke, where's your. Here, you guys have this one. There's one on your table. I'm looking at it. Yeah. There's one on your table. I'm looking at it. Macy, there's one on your table. What do you yeah, want? We just made it to. That's yeah, made it to. Okay, well, I'm not there yet. For how much people said it, then it's like that. Right? everybody do. Okay, um, did I ask you to mix anything or do anything with them yet? No. Thank you for everybody that's patiently waiting. Um, Zeke and Sam. Discuss. Discuss. All right. What is going to happen when we mix the baking soda and vinegar inside the Ziploc? It's going to pop the ball. It's going to go psh. Back to the bowl. Kaylee. I feel like maybe it's going to burst a little bit. Burst the bag. Kendall's giving that a thumbs up. Sophie, what do you think? I actually have to keep it. Either it'll start I think it's gonna fizzing, be a mess. Shh, or it'll, it'll, it'll start fizzing, or it'll break. It's gonna fizz, it and maybe break the bag. Fiona? What I think is gonna happen is that sometimes this happens when you have time to pop a bag or something. So it never really always breaks. It always like just um, see, it's like a tiny, itty bitty opening in the seal. So I think it might not make a big opening, but it might make it just a tiny. Fiona little, thinks like, it's just gonna open it where we seal it up. Yeah, that ain't that small. Oh yeah. Okay. Sean says it's not going to be that big of an explosion, Miss Bab. It's just baking soda and vinegar. I think it'll. Okay, Maggie, what do you think? Um, if you don't seal it all the way, it'll just come out of the. All right. It won't work. If you don't seal it all the way, it's not going to work. I know that. All right. Decide who'll be the bag boss and who'll be the cup commander. You'll get a chance to switch roles later. It honestly doesn't matter because you're going to end up doing both jobs. Yeah. It really doesn't matter. Cup okay. Commander. Cup commander. Squash your cup Squash flat your cup like this. Flat, like Watch this. what he does. Then, then cut across, cut across, it, cut across it, it like this. Like this. Your cup is taller cup is than what you need, so you're, you're modifying it, just like a scientist like or, engineer. or engineer. After you cut it, After shape it into a cup again and put it on the plate. Then, then bag boss. Bag boss. Put one spoonful of baking soda, baking soda into the cup, into the like, cup this. like this. We're just flat and cutting. All right, so everybody see what you're supposed to do. Cut your cup. Yep, and then leave it flat like that. 
Get it out and put it on your plate. Now I have to make it into a cup shape again. Perfect. All right. Um, just do one of them for now. Just one spoonful of baking soda. One spoonful. One spoonful. I got some. Spoonful. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Did you get your piece, your spoonful of baking soda in there? Um, now look at Doug's spoon. Guys, Doug's spoonful is a heaping big spoonful. So hey, if you just put a little bit in there, Doug's spoonful. Watch him here in just a second. Thick. This was like a heaping spoonful. Guys, let's make sure that you're on camera for Lucas and Cam. Um, Lucas and Cam, it just occurred to me that I need to give you the... Oh, wait, did it post for you guys? It should have posted for you guys. Let me see how much. That'll be good. Um, all right, can you guys... Good. Let's move... You're going to have to move the plate closer because I can't get this close enough for them to see. Uh, you're just, you each need your own bag. Said that a few times now. And you each need your own Dixie cup. All right, guys. Everybody should be where it is on the screen right now. You should have a little teeny cup. Yeah. A little short cup with baking soda in it. All right, here we go. Squish. <laughs> bag boss. Bag boss. Hold the bag open on the plate like this. Cup commander. Cup commander. Spoon six, six spoonfuls, spoonfuls of vinegar, vinegar into the bag. Into the bag. Be careful. Don't Be spill careful. the vinegar. Don't spill the vinegar. Six spoonfuls of the vinegar. Should get closer. I can't like. Wait, Hold it out. open like yeah, like. Oh, right. supposed to do, um, just move the baking soda to the side for now. All right, six spoonfuls of vinegar. Six spoonfuls for each bag. Um, only do one bag at a time, guys. Do not start the second bag yet. It's okay if you get the baking soda in the second cup. Question. But don't. But leave it open. Don't do that. I have a question. Did he have a big spoon? He had the same size spoon. No, let me do it. All right. I'm putting 12 spoons. Okay. Is this enough? Is this enough, Miss Brown? Is it six spoonfuls? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then it's enough. And each. Um, yeah. You're so cool. You guys have six spoonfuls. You're so cool. Vinegar tastes really sour. All right. I like it though. Wow. What? Okay. Is everybody ready? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw somebody about to dump their powder in there. No. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> It is good. The snap, guys. Because what's going to be, let me ask this before I hit next. If you were to pour that in there. It would explode. It would explode. No, the bag's wide open. Yeah. Am I going to capture the bubbles? No. So just wait. Doug's got a plan. Because we got to get those bags closed before the explosion happens. Yeah, you have, you have to put the cup the in zone. there stop, and then shake stop, it up. Stop. You guys waste so much time. Stop talking. Okay. You don't even need to say okay. Just do it. Bag boss. bag boss, keep holding the bag, holding open. The bag open. Cup commander, cup commander. Carefully, set the carefully set the cup in the bag, in the bag so, that it's level. so that it's level. Bag boss, bag boss. hold the bag so the bag doesn't Zip the bag Zip closed. The bag close. Double check. Double check. You want to make sure, you wanna make it's, sure it's closed. Sure it's closed. Shake it. Some of yours looks kind of deep yeah. because you're holding it up really tall. You want the vinegar level to be lower than your cup. Okay. 
So let your bag sag. Bag sag a little bit. Let me show you Zeke and Sam. Guys, are you listening or not? No, I don't think some of you are. All right. So let your bag sit like Zeke is. Because if you hold it up, it's going to be too tall. So let your bag kind of sit on the plate like Zeke is. And then Cup Commander, very gently hold it by the side and set it down in there. Don't just drop it. Sit it gently so that nothing spills. We did it. Okay. Yeah. Good. So far. Hang on. Second. Once you get it in there. No, there you go. It's good. Zip the bag closed carefully. I'm going to come around and make sure your bags are sealed all the way. Do not let the cup tip over, guys. We're trying to not to to not. Not sealed. Okay. Hang on. In the bag will explode. Now. Break the camera. If you want to, once you think you've got this bag sealed, if you're partner and you want to set up your other bag so that we can all oh, yeah. explode at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do uh, the other one. I'll, okay, I'll yeah. you have to, here, I'll cut the cup now. Yeah. Okay, now you pour the baking soda in there. Oh, right for the big. We don't have. Oh. Then you got the bag of. No, 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 not that much. You only do one spoonful, just a little bit. There you go. Okay, now, so you hold the bag open for me. I'm going to put it in. Can you come check our other bag? Yep. You said that's good. Okay, sure. Well, it's hard to do this, though. How did you do it? Mine had more. Uh, you weren't supposed to crush it that hard. I don't know if it's going to crush it. Just like tip it. Stop it. Stop it. You cut that as one. That's definitely Okay, one and a half. I'm gonna drink the vinegar. Look at all you guys being little chemists. That's three. Four and a half Five and a half. Five and a half? Yep. No. None of you, now, some of you are allergic to nuts and some of you are allergic to eggs. Yeah. I didn't say all I I said nuts some. Nuts. It Where's tastes that? so oh. sour. Oh, I don't no, 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 don't. But as long as you Jerry cook the same. eggs, we're good. But there are no eggs here today. What's eggs? I was like, where's that? All right, we're still waiting for a couple of friends to finish up. Oh my gosh, that's good. Seal. That's how it's going to go. Mine's better. Mine's the one that looks way nicer. Mine's the one that looks cute. <laughs> like your own mother. No, like Eric. Oh, yeah. Eric's really cute. He's so big. Hurry. Right. He? Are no. we ready? Can I eat the bacon part? Yeah. No, no. Oh, it's oh, bad. Yeah. So some powders are like, like raw flour will make you like incredibly sick. Will that make you incredibly sick? I have no idea. Let's not do it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what Doug said. Has everybody got both bags ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. 
And don't do anything until I say go. Now it's time to see what happens when the baking soda and vinegar mix. Bag boss, check one more time that the bag is lifted. Then turn it over, dump out the baking soda, and quickly set the bag. Don't do anything until I say so. You do that. Can we get another plate? We have our own plate. Can we do it? Come on, camera. We got this. We're in this together. Miss Beth, can you pin yourself so we can see what we're doing? This one's the best. I love you. You are one of my sons. Miss Beth, can you pin yourself? Miss Beth, pin yourself so we can see what we're showing them. What did you do, Parker? I mean, sorry, Mom. I mean, Mom. It's got Mom. Hurry up. Whoa! His sort of kid's like. Yeah, my mom. Oh, it's so good. 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 It's Making We're the almost ready. Okay, <laughs> yep. hey, Zeke, put yours on that one. All right. Now, you're going to grab your cup by the bottom, and then you're going to flip it pretty quickly. How about you just shake it? On your marks, wow. get set. You're gonna turn the whole bag upside down. Oh, yeah, it's okay if the whole bag turns upside down. On your mark, get set, go. You. Some of you are like literally looking like you're trying to take cover in here. Uh, it sounds like a balloon pop because it's basically the same I thing. It's a pop. little thin piece of plastic popping, guys. Um, and it's not actually going to like cause anything to come at you. Oh, um, those of you that. that still have it in front of you, um, hang on. Let me. Um, anybody you want uh, allow me to take theirs? Let me leave it on your plate. Just in case. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to show Lucas and Cam what's going on in some yeah, of them because Zeke and the Sam's from the pot. So some of them still look like this. Um, they didn't put enough vinegar or baking soda. There's not enough baking soda. Um, the ones that didn't pop, what do they feel like? Hot. Um, okay, I'm going to. Maggie, I really appreciate you just sitting quietly, raising your hand. You can grab a piece of candy. Um, 
Josie, what did you say? I like the word that you said. What does it feel like? It's full of pressure. Full of pressure. Like, I can't really squeeze this at all. I mean, I could. <laughs> and hopefully spray it right in Zeke's face. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, now, why did some of them pop and some not? Because they didn't put enough. Lily, why not? They didn't have enough baking soda. Not enough baking soda, we think. Possibly. Can we get the cup upside down to get more baking soda out of it? I think they had too much vinegar. Is it too much vinegar? All right, let's see. So, correct. Guys, those of yours that didn't pop, it was off a little bit. Your baking soda and vinegar was off a little bit. Um, that didn't look Hang on. It didn't look bad. Discuss what happened with your partner. Then do question number one on your worksheet. You're going to describe, You're going to describe, describe what, happened. what happened. Now, if something now, unexpected happened, like the bag, happened, like the bag wasn't really bag sealed, wasn't really describe, describe that. that. You sometimes learn you sometimes useful, learn things, useful from things from unexpected results. results. All right, so some of yours popped, some didn't. So you're not all going to have the same answer. Write down what happened with your bag. Some of them popped, expanded, and then popped. Some of them expanded, and they feel full of what Josie said, pressure. Write down what happened to your bag. Here's what happened in our bag. And sometimes this happened. Discuss these questions. All right. So what made the bag expand? All the bubbles. The pressure from what? The pressure the from the air, The air pressure. Air pressure from what? Will the, the bubbles, bubbles have air in them? What bubbles? The bubbles, the bubbles that bubbles come from the reaction. The bubbles from the reaction? Have air in them, and then they take up space. They have air in them? Or something else, and they take up space. They have something Some that... Sort of they have something that rises, like gas. helium. Some or, sort of gas. Wait, what if it? What if there's helium in the bubbles and it wants to rise up because it's more dense so than air? So mixing baking soda and vinegar creates helium? No. No, but it's creating some sort of <laughs> gas. That rises? That rises. Um, well, yeast rises. <laughs> okay, Not, nothing to do with what we're talking about here. I know, I was just thinking of things oh, that yeah. rise. Okay, so like we drew this picture a while ago. Yeah. With the little pink bubbles. Draw a picture um, so showing picture why the bag, why expanded, the bag expanded, on expanded on question number two of your worksheet. Of your worksheet. If, it you if it helps you think about it, you, you can draw the bag and the, and the cup from the, cup from the side, from the side like, this. like this. Or another or thing you could do, you could, do is you could draw a you cartoon, draw a cartoon strip, strip showing the steps showing involved, the steps like this. Like this. All right, I've already kind of drawn a picture for you, so this should be pretty easy. Except yours is going to look like he showed you with the Ziploc and a cup. What's going to happen? Draw your pictures. We have another experiment. Experiment two. It's cold. What makes you think there's an experiment too? It says it. Experiment two happens tomorrow. Isn't another experiment tomorrow? Somebody left or something. It's not it. All right. Did everybody draw their picture? No, I'm not done. Ooh, so this is all we're doing for today? Yeah, we're almost out of time. I have no idea how that then it's recess. I'm just shaking it up. And I get 10 extra minutes. <laughs> Something. <laughs> he thinks that he gets 10 All extra right, minutes. All right, five, four. You guys drawing your picture still? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.
magnet or what up, baby? Oh, well, what it's happening if you put more uh, vinegar than baking soda in it. Like more vinegar, vinegar than baking soda. I don't think it would do anything. I think it just expands still. It would expand to a certain point, but, but then, then it would stop because there's not enough of one of the substances to, you have to, to make a reaction. You basically equal them. You basically have to equal the substances. If you pour, if you pour uh, more... If now, I think part bigger. of the problem, too, is the measurements are off. Because look at how, look how Doug's bag is shaped. It was the long, skinny snack bag. And the only bags that Walmart had were the square snack bags. And so I think they have a different, they hold a different amount. So I think we needed to put another spoon of baking soda in there to force all of them That's why to I'm pop. That's what yeah. my picture looks like. Yeah, Perfect. we accidentally put no, another it, thing of baking soda. I'm gonna hold mine. That's what he said. So these bags are good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Weirdos? <laughs> now it's sour. Here, hold it open. No, I want to pick them. I'm special. Bam, bop, boom. Kapow. I'm going to start. Here you go. Come on, go. Please don't. Whoa. 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 Yes, we did it, Sam. We succeeded. Miss Fab, we succeeded. It didn't pop, see? It's really cold. Okay. Two teams. Oh, class. Two teams have noticed something else that happened because of the chemical reaction. It's cold. It's cold. It turns cold. It does feel cold. Very cool. Miss Bev, you can actually see the bubbles on it right here. See what at them. Okay. Oh, so I don't know if you can see up close, but there are very, very tiny, tiny bubbles on the bag that you can see where some of them have clinged to the side of the Ziploc. And this is, this liquid is like freezing cold. And it's really good for cleaning. After the reaction. And Zeke's ready to clean the room with it. Yep. Yes, sir. That's what, what I'll do with my extra 10 minutes of reading. I'll so clean the room. It's like, give it to me. No, I'm going to try to open it. I don't it's hear very much. Like my muscle. <laughs> Yeah. Did you get it? It's like 40 times bigger. Miss Bab, can we open it? Can we open it? BJ succeeded. Miss Bab, can we open it? Awesome. Can we open it? Hold it over the pipe. Here we go, Sam. Ready? Sam, watch. It just pops. That was cool. I need a zero for a second because Lucas has asked something twice and I can't hear him. Go again, bud. Um, I was wondering, is that more vinegar or less? That that was more vinegar, less baking soda. It was more vinegar, less baking soda that Zeke did. Sorry, Cam, I couldn't hear over the voices. I thought it was Lucas. My bad. Wait, if anyone has like this big explosion, yes. Okay, guys. Once you have exploded or exploded your bag, should you go to the sink? Yeah, you can't like really like talk to her. Yeah. Really, like, Hang on, wait, I want to video it. Everybody, wait, wait, wait. Everybody, everybody, stay. Everybody, don't explode your video. Look, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Look at Kane. Look at Kane. Look at Kane. Here we go. He has a bunch of baking soda. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Oh! 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 Hey, this going to come. Good job. I made mine. This bag again. I did it. Love it. Have it on your channel. No. 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 No.
at your desk. I am still talking. Kendall, you acted like it was gonna like like blow your arm off or something. Oh, there's still more to get sewn up. Um, guys, you need to quickly throw your things away and then finish answering all the questions on this worksheet. If you are done with the worksheet, put it in the turn-in tray. Um, hang on, virtual friends, hang on. No, you can sit at your desk so I know when everybody's ready. Um, where'd you guys go? Cam, yes, ma'am. I was just wondering, do we need to turn in the worksheet from today or do we save it as a draft? Yes, no, go ahead and turn it in because we did answer everything on it. So go ahead and turn it in. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, Try the experiment Try the again. Experiment again. Describe, your Describe your results on results question on number, question five, number five, of five of your worksheet. Hey, my grandpa, when I opened it. I did. Okay, Cam, you can read it. Okay, Cam, you can read it. Okay, Cam, you can read can that one in there. Want to get home tonight? I'm gonna get a gigantic bucket and fill it with baking soda and vinegar and then close it with a lid and then let it blow up. In the yard, though. In the yard. There you go. All right, guys. Um, friends, you should all be at your desk. It should be cleaned off, and your questions should all be answered. Okay. All the questions on this page can be answered, and you need to clean up your supplies. Some tables are almost ready to go. Some tables haven't even started. But you are officially now at recess time. So. So I have two minutes done. What? So I have two minutes done. Oh, no. I haven't started recess yet. They haven't left yet. When they leave is when they start. Turn and turn. Um, guys, this table isn't ready yet. Guys, I said stay at your table until it's cleaned off and I dismiss you. Uh, Turn and turn. I, I just said I was um, trying to make it explode. I just said I was trying to make it explode. Um, stop recording.